Hello, I'm Ben Divkid, and welcome to this video on my new module, the Output Bus. In this video, we'll highlight the issues that this module solves and the benefits of its features across different scenarios it can help you with. So let's check out what's to come. This video is sponsored by me. Now the output bus is made in collaboration with Bufaco and I'm proud to continue developing ideas with them following on from mutes in the stereo strip. And as a quick heads up, the output bus works incredibly well with the stereo strip, but you absolutely don't need to have them to make use of the output bus. The output bus has been designed to be a problem solver based on my experience of modular systems at home, in studios and on stages, whether you play solo or play with other people. Inspired by Pro Audio and Studio summing units, the output bus allows for summing style mixing, external gear integration, soft clip limiting, flexible output types, and headphone monitoring and level visualization. The module works great mixing all your other mixers together in your setup for designing modular mixing solutions, to return mono or stereo effects into the master bus, and for bringing in external stereo line level gear with ease. All of this in just 8 HP, while also being able to visualize your final levels, output appropriate signals on the right cable type, and monitoring headphones. So let's get into the features, and with each of them, I'll tell you why they exist based on my experience of needing these things across all my use of modular. So starting at the input stage, we have six mono or stereo inputs, and this is a summing mixer, where the mono inputs just on the left or stereo across both of them are mixed together to create a final stereo mix from all the other signals in your system or even multiple systems. I'm sure many of you have run out of mixer channels before, however big your performance mixer might be, or maybe you have a decentralized mixing system made up of smaller mixers, and you can output all of those sources into the output bus and bring that together as a cohesive mix. The bottom input has a switch for line level or modular synth level, so if you're patching out to pedals, integrating desktop effects or say drum machines, you now have a stereo input stage that you can flick to be line level boosted and bring in to be part of your modular mix. And you can, just like on the stereo strip, really exploit this for some heavy saturation and character at this input stage too. We have an LED meter to visualize your mix, which lets you see your levels and as well as being nice eye candy can be incredibly useful if you've ever tried to troubleshoot audio problems and find out what's happening in less than ideal audio situations. We have a master level control on the big red knob and it can be incredibly useful to just have a final output volume that you can turn down, either for giving the next bit of gear the correct signal or just simply something that you can turn off. And it's especially good as you can turn this right down and mute your system while continuing to monitor in your headphones. This level control also works with a soft clip limiting circuit that's on this master output stage. This is a circuit that Bufaco implemented on their hex mix, and we've also used that on the stereo strip. It protects your output stage and anything else that plugs into, and you can push higher levels into it for some added character and color, and that's all adjustable by this level knob. As well as the main output stage, we have a separately driven headphone monitoring section with its own volume control and separate 3.5mm outputs and quarter inch headphone outs. And these dual outs are perfect if like me and everyone else you've lost a headphone adapter before, or you could even just plug in two sets of headphones and have two people monitoring the mix. For outputs, we have Pro Audio balanced quarter inch outs that reassuringly give you the appropriate and expected cable and signal types to work well in studio or on stage. But we also have a pair of 3.5mm modular outs so you can take advantage of this summing and headphone monitoring and stay within a modular synth system if you wish. And just a final note about gain staging, as I've said the level knob doesn't need to be up full, you have the meters that you can watch and use your ears to tune this to taste. All the inputs will sum together and before they hit the soft clip limiting, you can control its level and adjust that to taste. 
So the Output Bus is a simple unit that provides solutions and quality of life patching based on experiences many of us will have ran into before. Let's get into some patches showing off various use cases. Those are on screen if you'd like to skip around and link down below. So let's dive in. If you're anything like me, I'm sure you've run out of mixing channels before, where we have a bigger kind of performance style mixer, or lots of decentralized mixing spread across a case and a patch. You simply just need to sum more things together, and that's what's happening here. I'm using vortices here, and if I mute the output of that mixer, you can hear a clap and a rim shot, two mono sound sources that I wanted to add to the mix, and the stereo input here is the return of my stereo delay effect. So I'm patching in my performance mixer or vortices, adding some extra percussion to the beat. Those extra little background hits are just that kind of spice and 3D dimension. And then to this voice, I have the delay coming back in. And this is giving me my nice balanced output to record for the studio and my headphone monitoring. So here's a scenario where you need two mixers so that you can sidechain your mix against the kick drum. I was actually talking to Myla Melodies about this recently and how if you want to build a modular mix and then sidechain it against the kick, you need to be able to bring that kick drum back into the mix because if it's in the mix that you sidechain, then the kick disappears. You need to sidechain the whole thing, get it pumping, and then mix the kick back in with it. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking a mix from my mixer into the stereo strip here, using an envelope from the kick drum and inverting it to duck it in the stereo strip. And then I have the kick coming in with the output of this whole duct mix in the output bus. And if I remove the kick, this is everything in my stereo mix, ducking in the stereo VCA in the stereo strip. Here it is roundly ducking. I'm bringing the kick back in. It certainly works fine as a mix, but as soon as I add this inverted envelope to duck everything but the kick, it's way more kind of vibey and exciting. And the nice thing with having lots of summing on the output bus is if I change my kick pattern to say four on the floor, my claps disappeared. You can hear the noise it creates side chaining. So I can simply just take the clap out of the mix and just patch it into a spare channel. Heavy ducking over my stereo mix in stereo strip, bringing that whole mix into the output bus in stereo. Kick drum brought back in. And you could be bringing other things into the output bus that you don't want to duck, or ducking everything else in a stereo strip or another stereo VCA, and bringing that into the output bus too. So here I'm integrating the Acid Lab and Miami drum machine, an 808 clone, with my modular. Now despite having lots of modular drums here and options for using them, drum machines are simply more affordable and integrating external drum machines with modular can work out really well. So here I'm using the sixth channel and the line level input to boost this external signal up to modular levels. My other inputs are a stereo bandpass or quad bandpass blend and some effects. Two oscillators into the filters, into some delay. And if I turn this back down to synth level, so there's no boost on channel 6 for the drum machine, notice how much quieter it is. It's a really simple way of just plugging in the external gear, flick the line level switch, 
And one thing to note while I'm doing this, I found that some drum machines that are line level can really kick out voltages even higher than your ORAC oscillators. So you may need your volume not to be up full on your external gear. And modular or external gear or not, you also don't need the output bus level to be up full all the time either. So the master output stage on the output bus has this soft clip limiting. This was found on the hex mix from Bafaco, and it was in the stereo strip as well. And it's this really nice amp-like character that can be more soft and classy, or really kind of full on and saturated. I'm gonna go super fuzzy and full on here. This is one output from rings, purple cables, being visualized, coming into a stereo delay, then down into the output bus. And then the red cables here are being visualized and come into channel six. Now this is your ORAC level, it's not line level, it doesn't need a boost, but let's give it one anyway. And you can hear this really fuzzy kind of guitar amp like quality. This almost sounds like feedback, it's very dynamic with the input. And this can be much subtler, it's only a big red knob turn away from cleaning that up. Let's bring these effects back in as well. So anytime you have saturation and don't want it, simply back off the levels. Push into it for a bit of colour. Or pretend rings is going for a cover band that are playing sung tracks. And really push into that saturation. So I think one of the most compelling things about the output bus is a flexible ability to build your own dream mixer out of your modules. Now I couldn't resist the urge to put together six stereo strips here, and specific to them, they are really flexible channel strips to be summed together to build kind of my dream mixer. But you could put anything in front of the output bus and sum it together to build your own mixer. Here's each sound. Kick. Snare and percussion. Stereo hats. Hat and clap. Arpeggio. And then a feedback loop. Where I'm actually coming out of the output bus, so the summed mix at modular level here on the modular out, into a stereo strip for EQ and level management. Coming out of the stereo strip down into a delay effect and back into the output bus here on green cables. This is super fun, so I'm just gonna jam around. Enjoy the patch. So if you've got this far in the video, go drop a hard sync in the comments. Let me know which one of these patches was your favourite. Head to patreon.com forward slash divkid to support the work that I do and join the community and gain access to lots of exclusives. Do check out the output bus. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
Bye.